the uh, it's the morning of uh, Monday, the second of August. So we've had pretty much all the results come in from the Harewood Heist, uh, Bramley Fall, and the Dick Double now. So that's six races closed in total. Uh, I thought I'd just go through the results with you, um, as it's quite it's quite interesting what we've got in through here. So if we go to, in fact, we can go to the full results page, which I've got rid of. I'll put it on the website. There we go. So if we look at Bramley Fall, first of all, uh, you'll notice there's a new tab on the website. That was meant to open in, in, a, in a separate tab, never mind. So there we go. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners. Uh, we've got Tim Patterson for the men and Samantha Harris for the women. Amazing times there on the uh, on the Bramley Fall. So you can view this now. You can view this now on the website. It will link straight to the PDF. I've made it nice and neat and tidy so you can see it. It will give you um, your overall position uh, on the left, uh, followed by your gender position on the right, or species position, as there is uh, there is some dogs in here. <laughs> so th there we go. That's uh, that's Bramley Fall. Here we go, this is the uh, results of the Dick Double, so congratulations to Sam Harris uh, from Valley Striders in first place, which is amazing, followed by Finn Duncan for the men, um, 1 hour 9 and 1 hour 11 respectively. Um, that's an incredible time, 1 9, that is an incredible time. Moving on to... Moving on to the Harewood Heist, we'll look at that, and then congrats to Rick Vowden, Bramley Breezers, and Amy Young of Hyde Park Harriers. Get rid of that. Here we go, this is the club results. So if you're in a running club, you run for a running club and you've entered, uh, your scores might count towards the club if you are one of the first uh, one, two, or three women or men, it's the top five counters um, with at least one or two of the lesser gender, um, lesser meaning lesser present in the competition. Um, High Park Carriers have regained their first first position. God, I'm really tired. I was up till 2 a.m. last night updating everything. <laughs> um, yeah, Hyde Park Carriers have swapped with Valley Striders there. Um, Valley Striders thought they were running away with it, but Hyde Park Harriers have caught right up. Look at that. It's a 300-point difference in just one month. Now, you'll notice a, a little apology from me now. A little apology from me now, because if we look at this timeline, which is public to view, um, this is the timeline for all the races. You notice some have been advertised to open earlier than they've actually opened. Um, generally, that's down to um, me um, and not having the time to get them open in time, get the GPX files ready, get the courses like 100%, get me 100% happy with the courses. Some some of the courses I've been out and um, I've sort of had shocks with works and things like that. Um, I was actually out... Last night, um, looking at the Rue Barbarian, which is due to open in September, and um, yeah, it's really not up to scratch for a, for a great hour running uh, race. Um, some of the paths were a bit, just not really, not really good enough, um, not really fun enough, really, apart from the pea field, which I ran through a pea field eating peas, that was lovely. Um, but yeah, some, some of them are getting rerouted onto more major footpaths as I was a uh, I was bashing through a lot of nettles and uh, brambles in places. Um, so I've rerouted any issues there. I'm going to go out and do it again, make sure I'm 100% um, happy with it. Um, also, I've cut three kilometers off it, which is uh, which is good news for some of you. Um, so my order of priority now in terms of getting these races open, uh, the West Leeds Ultra is my number one priority getting it open. Um, following that, the Cookridge Stones will be open, so that's a nice little uh, bonus challenge for you. Um, I'm just going to point to that, so that's the West Leeds Ultra there, which is meant to open in July. Followed by um, the Cookridge Stones, 
and then that will closely be followed by no fly zone. The no fly zone, in fact, I could open right now actually because um, it, there's no change. There's no change from last year. Uh, it's just that the map uh, provided will be last year's map, but but otherwise no change. Talking of maps, um, Round A Rumble and the Billing, their maps have both been updated, so those maps are up to date. Uh, the GPX files remain the same. Uh, the map itself are the same, just the design of the, the maps have changed. In terms of videos, I know I'm mega behind on those. Um, the following videos have actually been filmed. They were filmed some time ago, some of them. Uh, Shadwell Shuffle, that is my number one priority video to get out next. Obviously, as that is closing uh, at the end of August. So that video will be made this week. Uh, no excuses. Uh, followed by Holly Hustle and We Hustle, the Salty Shaker, the Dick Double. Um, I've obviously, unfortunately, we've missed the t missed missed it for that. Uh, and the Tour de Twenty Eight. All of those have been filmed. So thanks for your patience. Uh, thanks to all the guys that helped me with the videos. Um, I've got a few guests coming up in the next few videos. Uh, so you'll meet some more faces of the GPX Grand Prix. That's it from me today. Uh, I need to. I wish I could go to bed now, but I've got to go to work. So, thanks very much for your help, um, all patrons. Um, remember, the Patreon page is always open. If you want to take a look at that, uh, the more help I can get from that, the more prompt I can be with these uh, these bits. I'm promising. So, thanks very much. Um, enjoy your running. See you later.